so namaste guys in this video you are going to learn how to make this telescopic animation as you can see when i move this for uh, backward uh, it automatically takes uh, little uh, little one backward also and when, when i move forward it also takes it move forward so this is a telescopic mechanism uh, that i'm going to make uh, basically i use advanced mates for this and this is how it looks in real life so if you want to learn just watch the full video uh, you will get a deep knowledge about it so namaste guys so let's get started so first of all i am making all my parts in assembly so click on the insert component select the new part now after that select the part click on the edit component now select the front plane click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view after that you need to draw a line as I'm drawing. Okay. Now give it a dimension as per your requirement. Here I'm giving it a dimensions of 80 mm and 10 mm. 10 mm. Sorry, 5 mm. And the center distance is. 35 mm now draw a center line here after that go to features click on revolve ball space click on no because we are not going to make a automatically close sketch after that click on thin feature here you can see the drawing uh, reduce the thickness by 3 mm and here you can see it and click ok so I have made my first part now select the front plane of this uh, face now press ctrl plus 8 draw another circle and go to features click on extrude uh, enter the extrusion by 3 mm click on reverse direction click ok select this feature go to appearances click on boss extrude now click on appearances color go to glass Select clear glass and drop it and click OK. So here you can see now after that exit the address assembly component and click on new part here you can see the traffic light so to remove that uh, click on just rebuild that basically a rebuild icon ok after that select the new part click on the edit component select the front plane again click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 for normal skin to the view now again we I am going to repeat the same process but with different dimensions. Make sure that the gap is 3 mm because I am going to give a thickness of 3 mm here also. select and make it coincident and make this 5 mm make it 80 mm now go to features click on reward ball space click on no now click on reverse thin feature here as you can see 
and click OK. Again select the front face and press Ctrl plus 8. Draw a circle. Uh, basically this circle is a transparent glass and nothing else. Click on reverse direction, click OK. Select this part and go to go to scenes and click on clear clear glass uh, you need to select two times because okay uh, basically you need to sele uh, select the cluster two times because uh, for the front end and back end so that is the reason uh, there is need to select glass at the two times after that exit it here you can see so now let's make our last part click on the rebuild icon first and select the front plane click on sketch press ctrl plus 8 for normal screen to the view and move your mouse here uh, sorry first exit the sketch click on the new part after that select the part click on the edit component select the front plane click on sketch now draw the sketch as i'm showing go to sketch smart dimensions the distance is 3 mm 3 mm again and this time the length is 80 mm or let's say 120 mm and draw a line here ok after that click on center line make sure it coincide with it and select this line make it horizontal and delete this line i am going to make a mirror so i need to i need to make the separate feature for it so click on revolve wall space click on no and reverse the direction of thin feature click ok after that select this face uh, press control uh, select this face select this edge click on sketch click on convert entities select this and okay first we need to select the face after that select this edge and click on uh, sorry click on convert entities now go to features click on extrude boss space click on reverse direction click ok uh, similarly here select this face click here click on convert entities go to features click on extrude uncheck the merge result click ok ok right click on it click on reverse direction as you can see it moves uh, outward click ok and you can do the same thing for here uh, basically if you uncheck the merge result it will give you it will make your work easy for giving mirroring and you can also see what's, in, what's going on here so click on clear glass click on extrude now click on sectional view click ok i click on sectional view so that i can easily see what's going on here and nothing else and click on clear glass I guess I need to hide that thing. So 
exit the data assembly component now right click on it click on float right click on it click on sorry right click on it click on float right click on it click on float so now i can move it so first we need to do is click on mate make it concentric click ok right click on it right click on it make it concentric click ok now uh, let's go to the second part so click on the sectional view click ok so click on mate select this face and this face select this face and this face and go to the advanced mates remember you have to go to the advanced mates and select distance so it is asking for the minimum distance so let's say that the minimum distance uh, should be 5 mm and the maximum will be 80 mm okay so when I try to move it as you can see I can move it here and here I didn't fix, uh, fix the last part that is the reason it is moving uh, it is moving up or downward so let's fix that so right click on it right click on it click on fix and go to the mate select this part and this part make it concentric click ok now uh, I have done the mating of these two parts now let's make these two parts so click on mate select this face and this face and I don't know why it's hiding my geometry uh, I don't have any clue about that maybe a bug now, now click on the center distance let's say the minimum distance is 60 mm and the maximum is and uh, 100 uh, 110 mm click ok click on the rebuild icon exit the sectional view here I am seeing a made error let's see edit feature let's delete this I don't know what why is there is error so click on mate again click on advanced mate select this face uh, select this and this and this this part and Okay, so the minimum distance is 3 mm. Oh, sorry. The minimum distance is 3 mm, but maximum you can increase as per your requirement. Let's change it back. Cancel it. Uh, right click on it. Constants and go to advance and change it to uh, 80 mm. Click OK and exit. Now, when I try to move it, as you can see, it's make a good telescopic mechanism. 
let's see more clearly select this press control plus 8 here you can see it more clearly now let's give it a some color the, uh, as you can see I have shown some errors and problems remember uh, the main reason is that so that you know what kind of error you basically face in real life and how to resolve those error so that is the reason I show them I can also you know hide them or cut from the drawings while editing but I basically show you so that you can learn what kind of mistakes a beginner do so that's the whole point I show those mistakes nothing else as I if I want I can just simply hide those things uh, but I show them so that people know what kind of error they are gonna they might gonna face and how to solve those problems so we have created the our graph requirement So this is how a telescopic animation is made. I hope you like it. If you have any doubts and queries you can ask in comments and I also do the paid job works. If you have any work uh, that is you want to be done by a profession so you can just uh, DM me. I can solve it for you but at the price. I hope you like this video. If you have any doubts and queries make sure you ask in comments. Thanks for watching and have a great day.